guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a video today with my nephew Turner. And today we are going to try, initially it was supposed to be 10 different sodas, but unfortunately we accidentally bought two of them, uh, the same ones. So we're gonna try nine different sodas. Uh, two of them are these Japanese ones that are supposed to open kind of unique. So we'll see how that tan turns out. And then we got some kind of like sweet flavors and then we got some crazy stuff like bacon and coffee and some stuff like that. So we will see how this goes. And uh, half of these will be on my YouTube channel and half of them will be on Turner's YouTube channel. So I'll put a link to his uh, channel in the description below. So make sure you go check out his videos as well. He's just getting started with YouTube. I'm trying to help him out. So go give him a like, give him a subscribe and leave him some comments on his videos as well. All right, I get yours. What's flavor number two gonna be? Kinda of wanna try this peanut butter and jelly one. All right. So Turner's staying with me for this week. And when I asked him, you know, what kind of stuff does he wanna eat? His macaroni and cheese. I used to love growing up as a kid, still to this day. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Just had one today with him for lunch. Yeah. So peanut butter and jelly soda it is, right? Let's try it out. Oh look, there's words on the inside of that first one. Dreaming of Genie? That was on the Mighty Mouse one. Is there any on this one? No. I have a feeling this one might be kind of weird. Yeah. I'm not gonna pour too much of this just in case it's gross. Yeah. <laughs> a peanut butter drink just doesn't sound that uh nice. That appetizing and then the color of it's kinda weird. Yeah. So we're trying the uh Lester's Fixins, peanut butter and jelly soda, pure cane sugar made in the USA. So let's see how Lester's uh, Fixins are. You ready? I see you at the same time. All right, we're gonna do this one at the same time. The aftertaste isn't very good. Nor is the smell. Mm. It smells like um, kind of like a like a peanut butter candy or something, right? Almost. I don't know if I. Can... I just gonna suck it up and go ahead and finish it, but it's, I don't really like it that much. I mean, it's fine whenever you drink it, but the aftertaste isn't really good. Little. I don't think I don't, I don't think I want to finish it. You don't want to finish yours? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, that one went too. Ugh. I'm dreading the bacon the most. Why? Do you think bacon soda is going to be good? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. Is that one mine? That one's yours, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to keep them separate so we don't... Uh, I think we should go in for, for butter or bacon. Which one is it? Bacon. Bacon? Oh. Get to get it out of the way, right? <laughs> yeah. Bacon soda. I mean, I this is another one of those Lester's fixins. Ooh. Bacon soda with maple syrup. Oh no. And at the bottom here it says, "This is very Texan." Y'all get your fixins. Ooh. I don't even know if I want to smell this one before I taste it. It's just gonna. Is there anything inside that cap? Nah. Okay. The color of it even is just, it almost looks like brown bacon. I don't know. And it looks like, it's like the color of syrup too. Yeah. I can smell the maple already. I'm not gonna pour us too much of that. Yeah. Actually, it smells like syrup. Maybe the, the maple will be stronger than the bacon. Mm. Guess we're about to find out. Yep. I accidentally poured myself a lot. I didn't mean to. Oh yeah, that's a big whiff of maple. Let's hope it's, it tastes like the maple and not the bacon. Here we go. Nope. Nope. I don't like it. Mm. The aftertaste. The aftertaste. Well, 
You smell, okay, so at first it smells like maple. And then right as I got it up to my mouth here, right about here, and I was about to sip, the, the whole scent changed to bacon. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do this. And then, uh, then the maple scent comes back a little bit and it tastes a little bit maple-y, but then that, the aftertaste is straight up bacon. Yeah, I don't like this one at all. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. No. No, no more of that. Nope. Ugh. You know what? I think I should, we should have a little bit of cookies and cream to... Yeah. And then we'll try one our of mouth these. Out. Those will be at the very end. Oof. I just burped and it was that bacon. Get the, cookie, get the cookies and cream. Yeah, let's have a little more cookies and cream, wash some of that bacon nastiness down. I'm not gonna get too much because we still got, what, two? Coffee, butter. Martian. Martian. And then and that, that one. one's an extra, and then the two Japanese ones. So that's still five left. So these Japanese oh. ones, um, they have a unique way that they open. Yeah. And uh, they look like they're gonna be good, but it's mostly about the uniqueness of how the uh, lid, the cap opens. <sighs> Cookies and cream down the hatch. Mm-hmm. Just kind of swish it around. There you go. Now at the end, Turner told me that he was gonna drink what was left in the uh, in the bowl on the floor. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. You're not gonna drink that? No. I thought you were gonna drink all that. No. All right, should we go in for the Martian or the butter or the, or the coffee? I think the coffee won't be too bad. I think I'd rather save Martian or butter. I have no idea what to expect from a Martian. You choose. Oh, by the way, I meant to mention at the beginning of the video. So uh, I'll, I'll throw it up right now. There's a place here in Houston called Rocket Fizz. Yes. And that's where we went to buy these. And that's how we ended up with duplicates too, because I bought mine a little while back and then I took Turner there yesterday and had him choose four yeah. and mistakenly got that one twice. But shout out to Rocket Fizz. We wouldn't be doing this video if they weren't down the road from us and we didn't need to pick these out. And the reason I mentioned it is this one actually says Rocket Fizz on top and so is this. So I guess, I don't even know for sure, maybe they bottle some of these themselves. So yeah, so what, what did you say, Martian or butter? Let's go for the Martian. Okay. Let's, let me get your glass. This one looks like the color of beer, right? Almost. This is supposed to be the taste of Mars. Comquat that, flavor. Well, that makes the sense of how it's almost brown. It says kumquats, so I didn't know they had kumquats on Mars. Oh. It's a fruit. They're about like this big, green, sort of look a little bit like a lime. Mm, I just burped again. Does that have anything in it? Because it was like... Oh, yeah, oh, did, what does it say? It says disco ouch. This doesn't smell like anything. Maybe once I pour it, it'll smell like something, but right now it doesn't smell like anything. Don't pour too much. No, I'm not. Yeah, we're trying to go light on these pours in case they're gross. So let's see what Martian soda tastes like. The flavor of kumquats. I didn't know Martians uh, liked kumquats. Mm. It smells kind of sweet. Smell, to me, it smells orangey. Yeah, very citrusy. And I can't, you know, honestly, I don't really know what kumquats taste like, but I, I think it is in the citrus family. So this might taste kind of like orange juice or something. Maybe. Actually, it's really sweet. It's got a little bit of a tarty, tangy aftertaste. Yeah, but it's, a bit, it's really sweet though. Yeah, I like it. Martian soda. Not bad. 
That second little gulp I had though, the aftertaste, it wasn't gross, but I, it, it, there's a, it's got a unique aftertaste. Mm -hmm. All right, it's down to uh, butter and coffee. I think we go ahead and get the uh, butter out of the way because I think that one's gonna be maybe the, the one that's grosser of the two. Yeah, and then the coffee will wash away the bad butter taste. Yeah. Assuming the butter is bad. Yeah. Butter might be good, who knows? All right. Butter it is. Butter soda. It doesn't really say much else. Pure cane sugar, butter soda. It's as yellow as you would expect it to be for butter. <laughs> right? I mean, look how, it like, I bet you, I bet you this glows under a black light, it's so yellow. I'm kind of I'm really excited just to see how it tastes. Yeah. I wonder if it's going to smell really strong like butter. Nothing on that one. I think it's only the ones with the rocket fizz on top. Yep. This looks tox This looks more toxic than the uh, Mars one. Yeah. That's what color the Martian one should be. This has kind of got like that Mountain Dew glow to it. All right, Turner chose this butter one. Let's see what butter soda tastes like. It smells, I don't know. I, I was expecting a really strong aroma of butter, but yeah, I don't really don't, smells, it doesn't smell that much. It smells like the blue cream one to me. They all kind of smell like just sugar. All right, let's go for it. Let me try just another sip, just because I mean, it's clear my tongue off a little bit. I think you know I've ta we've tasted so many now. I'm not gonna say that I think I like it, but I just want to get a better taste of it. All right, guys, we're back. We're not sure if this was uh, captured on camera or not because the camera has reached their max limit. So just in case, unfortunately, we're doing round two of this butter. Let's give it another t taste. Ugh. Nope. All right, I'm done with that. Butter gone. It's about to touch the rag. We'll get some coffee in here and hopefully this coffee will uh, drown out some of these funky flavors. And then we get to try these new ones. These Japanese ones. Yep, I'm excited for those. Yeah. Looks like I got just the right amount of water in these things, huh? Yep, still a little left for the Japanese. So we got a strawberry and we got a melon. And Turner, we're gonna try, just make sure you don't shift it off, right? Yeah. We're gonna try to both open these uh, sodas at the same time because they have a like a unique way they open. And you know what? I think I'm gonna use one of these. Open from the bottom. Yeah, these lids. To... Okay. All right. Stop. So, what you're supposed to do, right? You take these caps off. Let me show it over there. Yep. And then you push the top through and you're left with this little thing here. Can you get yours? Oh God. You get like, there you we go. Now be careful when you, like I said, when you push down on this, you don't want to shift. So you take this little thing and you set it straight on top and there's a marble and that we're going to push through and make this marble pop into the drink. I'm going. There we go. And it unlocks the fizz. And then there's two notches right here. And what those notches do is they uh, they hold the marble back and allow it to pour. So we'll so, start with the uh, strawberry, I guess. Yep. And As then we'll do the melon. And then there's the marble not moving. Yeah, the marble stayed in place.
It's a glass marble at that, right? It's very unique bottles. There you go. Strawberry. It smells kind of like it. Japanese. Ramun or ra Ramune. Ramun, I don't really know. Ramune. It actually smells very tangy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not, that's good. I feel like a film of sugar on my tongue after after the first sip. It's a really sweet. Apparently, uh, Alexa's listening in on us and trying to talk to us, even though nobody's made any attempt to communicate with her. Pretty good. Now we're gonna try that melon. Let's get one more rinse on these cups. All right, so. Um, we don't know for sure which five of these are going to end up on Turner's YouTube and which five will end up on my two YouTube. But again, just as a reminder, if you want to see all the drinks, you got to watch both of our videos. All I'm right. Did you want to try to pour it? Yeah, I'm going to watch man. the marble. Is that good? Mm-hmm. You hook me up. A little drop. Yeah, don't, worry, don't don't tap it because of this glass. That's good. There you go. Let's set it back here. Now we are trying the final one. It's kind melon. of melon. It's actually clear. Yeah, that's what they're all clear, right? On this. No. Oh no, the it was reddish. All right, here we go. Melon. <laughs> I was like about to talk, and yeah, it's very sweet. It is just like straight sugar. Doesn't really completely have very much of a taste. When you can smell it, you can definitely taste the melon. But if you were to only get the the drink in your mouth without any, like, it would just taste like sugar, carbonated sugar. Which one was your favorite one? say like one of the Japanese ones. Yeah. They were both really good. Both of them? Yeah. These are kind of a tie for me. Um, I like both of them. Uh, if I had to choose one, I think I really like this uh, cookies and cream a lot, but I like cream soda. Yeah. And the one that I dislike the most I think the butter might have been even worse than the bacon. I don't know. For me? Or actually the peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly is pretty funky. I'll leave that to a sandwich, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell in the bottom corner. Uh, that way you'll get notified every time I make a new video. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, my videos revolve around travel. Uh, I do puzzles on a regular basis. Um, sometimes it might follow my photography and just regular old vlogs. And yeah, so see you guys in the next video. Later.